A three-person jury has two members who independently have a probability P of making a correct decision. The third member flips a fair coin to make their decision. The jury's decision is the majority verdict of the three members. A one-person jury has a probability P of making the correct decision. Which of these juries has a higher probability of arriving at the correct decision? This problem was taken from the book 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. Take a moment to pause the video and try it for yourself. Let's move on to the solution. In this problem, we have to compare two separate probabilities. The probability that the three-person jury makes a correct decision and the probability that a one-person jury makes a correct decision. We can notice that we already know this second probability. The probability that a one-person jury makes the correct decision is simply P. Thus, all we have to do is find the probability that the three-person jury is correct. Let's work this out by breaking it into two possibilities. Our first possibility is that both of the logical jurors who do not make their decision via a coin flip are correct. In this case, it does not matter what the third member who flips a coin decides. The probability that both the logical jurors are correct is simply P times P because we can assume that both of these members are making their decision independently as it is given in the question. Thus, this probability is P squared. In our second scenario, only one of the logical jurors is correct and the random juror happens to be correct. The probability of this situation is P, the probability that the first logical juror is correct, times one minus P, the probability that the second logical juror is incorrect, times half, the probability that the fair coin gives the correct decision. Finally, we multiply this by two, since there are two ways that this outcome could happen, as both of the logical jurors could swap places between being correct and incorrect. Simplifying this, we get the probability as P times one minus P. Now, we can notice that both of these branches are for mutually exclusive events. Thus, the total probability that the three-person jury is correct is the summation of these probabilities. Working this out and simplifying, we see that this solves for P. Thus, the probability that the three-person jury makes a correct decision is simply P, which is the same as the probability that the one-person jury makes a correct decision. What did you think of this solution? Does this answer surprise you? Does it make sense that a jury with two rational logical members has the same outcome of making the correct decision as a jury that picks completely at random in this situation? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.